do a really interesting little demonstration here today. We're comparing the M drive, which is a fully automated manual transmission, to this 1957 B61 model Mac that has two gear shifts, a five-speed main and a two-speed auxiliary. But I'm going to show you how difficult it is to drive one of these things if you're not experienced versus how simple it is to drive the M drive. The M drive pushes a button, this thing you're wrestling with it the entire time. You've got both hands going, you've got both feet going, it's a real exercise and these things are not very forgiving at all. If you miss a shift or you almost get it into gear, it will kick back right against the palm of your hand where you're holding the gear shift. And after a couple of hours today here on the test track, I can tell you, I'm a little rusty after 30 years and the palms of my hands are pretty sore. So let's climb in there, I'll show you how this thing works. Hi, I'm trucking journalist Jim Park coming to you from the back 40 at Max Customer Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Today we're comparing the transmission on a 1957 B model Mac with a modern manual transmission in a 2014 Titan and the M drive transmission in a 2014 Pinnacle Highway Tractor. Climb aboard for a few more laps around the test track of time as we grind our way through from 1957 to 2010. Okay, so we've got the two gear shifts here. This one here is the one through five. This is the main. Then you have the auxiliary here, which is basically high and low. On some of the trucks, you also had a five-speed main and a four-speed auxiliary. That's way over my head today. But I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how this works. You can follow along and I get it right. Maybe we can make some, uh, some film history. So I'm in second gear in the main box and low on the auxiliary. Let's get this rolling here. And my first shift is going to be up to third because we don't have a trailer on. So that's a relatively simple, painless process. Now I'm going to go to third, third low to third high. Okay, that didn't hurt a bit. That worked fairly well. This one's a bit trickier. I'm going to go from third high to fourth low. So I make a really long, lazy shift here and then shift that one back. Try to do that while you're going around a corner pulling a big trailer through downtown Allentown. Another fairly simple one here, just fourth, low to high. Now we're cruising. So now we're going to try a downshift. This is where it's going to get exciting. Oh, I got that one okay. The next one's going to be a bit more complicated. There's that whacking of the hand I was telling you about. Anyway, I pulled that one off, so... To put this into perspective, the B61 engine produces about 170 horsepower at 2100 RPM and 480 pound-feet of torque at 1400 RPM. Today's Mac MP8 engines, for example, produce more than 600 pound-feet of torque at idle. Consequently, those old engines needed two transmissions with lots of gears in order to keep the engine in their optimum power band. Nowadays, those two transmissions have been replaced by twin counter shafts with a high-low range splitter and just one gear shift. We're going to switch seats now and climb into that Mack Titan with the 18-speed manual transmission. So this is part two of our little demonstration. The manual transmission, twin counter shaft, four-speed high-low with an overdrive and direct splitter. That gives us a total of 18 speeds. Compare that to the uh, B model we drove that had uh, a five-speed main with the high-low auxiliary. That gave us essentially 10 speeds. This has only got one stick, the other had two. This you operate with one hand, the other sometimes takes two. This one is all contained in one unit. You've got the four speed gear set, and your high and low gear set, and your splitter gear set. It's all in the same box. It took some dexterity to be sure to drive the twin stick. This one takes a little bit of dexterity as well, but not quite in the same way. This one you really need to be cognizant of your engine speed and road speed and matching the gears to the road speed. And you have to be able to double clutch. Not that complicated, but for new drivers struggling with learning the rest of the ropes, learning to operate a manual transmission is just one more burden. But one thing that will scare the daylights out of rookie drivers is stopping on a hill. Remember that 15% grade we showed you back in part one? Max Grade Gripper, an optional feature on the M-Drive transmission, makes starting on a hill like that just a stroll in the park. Facing us now is a 15% grade. This would cause 
all kinds of anxiety for a driver if there was a red light right here. And to simulate that red light, Max painted a white line on the road and they have everybody stop here. And the idea is to uh, get the truck going on this kind of a grade. If you had a manual transmission and you had to finesse the clutch to get this going, it would be a pretty stressful moment. Just getting it moving is difficult enough, but preventing it from rolling back is the, uh, the safety side of this. So what Grade Gripper does is it gives you three seconds to get your foot off the brake pedal, over to the accelerator, and get the truck moving. So we're sitting still on the hill, we're in first gear, and my foot's on the brake. I'm gonna take my foot off the brake and put it on the accelerator, and you'll notice we don't slide back at all. One, two, three. Foot's off the brake, foot's on the accelerator, you can hear the engine powering up, and away we go. How easy was that? So there you have the evolution of the transmission, two sticks to no stick. I think it's safe to say that the expression, as smart as a box full of gears, really isn't an insult anymore. We sure had a great time here in Allentown putting all these trucks and transmissions through their paces. We have ultimate test drive videos of the new Twin Y and M-Ride suspensions, as well as part one of this look back at transmissions. You can check them all out on todaystrucking.com or on our YouTube channel, Today's Trucking One. From Max Customer Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I'm Jim Park for Today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. You might as well leave those double-clutching boots at home. You're not going to need them much longer.